To review current liabilities, what is the formal definition according to FASB? Well, it's a probable future payment of an asset or service that a company is presently obligated to make as a result of a past transaction or event. So that's the formal definition. The easy way to remember this is you owe something in the future presently because of a past transaction, future, present, and past, or past, present, and future. Because of something that happened in the past, there's a present obligation for a future payment. Classifying liabilities. Current liabilities are expected to be satisfied within one year of the operating cycle, whichever is longer. Long-term liabilities is going to be everything else that are, will not be satisfied during that time period. So why do we have to classify? Well, it helps investors and creditors assess the short and long-term risk associated with the company. Unearned revenue is a liability, and why? Because if you don't perform the service or deliver the product, you have to pay them back. Interest expense accrual. So let's say on September 1st, Antler Company borrowed $2,000 from a bank at 12% interest for 60 days. Simple calculation, but first things first, determine the maturity date, then calculate your interest. It's going to be principal times rate times time. And the simplified way is to use a banker's year or 360 days. So how much? Determine the maturity date. September, there are 30 days in the month, but you're not going to count today. One, a, one day accrual of interest is tomorrow. You take out the note today, you don't immediately owe interest. So September interest accrual is 29 days. October, there are 31 days in the month, so... Maturity date is October 31st. Next, calculate your interest. Always use the banker's years. It's just a simplified way. So 2,000 times 12% times 60 over 360, that's $40. Here are your journal entries. Now let's say instead of September, it was taken out in December. So now you've got a year-end interest accrual to record. Determine the maturity date. There are 31 days in December. So December interest accrual 30 days, not 31. January has 30. So the maturity date is January 30th. Calculate the interest. The December interest will be 20, the January interest will be 20. So you're going to have to perform an interest accrual. Interest expense, interest payable, and then at the end, don't forget to take off that payable. So the formal definition is a probable future payment of assets or services that you presently owe because of a past transaction or event. Past, present, and future. Just a little memory trick, try to remember the definition. You need to know the definition. Because something happened in the past, there is a present obligation for a future payment. And that is an overview of current liability.